All right, everybody, we are about to go to the salon to find Mr. Mingles. Okay, we have a goal. And our goal is to find Mr. Mingles, who is trapped inside the walls. Uh-oh, that's not good. The barking is coming from behind this door. I just need to figure out how to open it. It's probably one of Hippocrates' contraptions. Okay, so the pillar is the key. Pillar. This pillar? I love this whole vintage thing the daughters have to Don't you? Yes, the vintage look is very in right now. Really? That must mean I'm very in right now. Are you supposed to know? No, it's not, sweetie. Okay, I don't want to interrupt the conversation those people are having. Ah, more conversations. Holds the new new. Antiques are very chic. Your lack of cook is sherry. Actually, this place used to be a private mansion, and this area used to be a dining room. The cabinetry looks old because it's what was done in the Redondo Fortress. In other words, the Redondo isn't trendy, it's simply cheap. I take back that cook's remark, dear. Okay, so for this puzzle, just match the things which are related. You know, like the knot and the rope. The tree and the leaf, the storm cloud and the water. I wonder what this tube is. Okay, so the drain has a key. Okay, this is kind of strange, but let's try to solve this puzzle. We have some missing tiles. And we need a key. And we have tweezers. And there's something inside the lock. I bet we use the tweezers on this thing, which gives us this, which looks like it goes up here on the ceiling. And what does it say? Okay, we can open the door. Let's pull open the door. And the note said something about the pantry and 15 ounces. Let's do 15 like ounces. This bell mentioned in his note. Hmm, I bet I could use these bottles, even though some of them aren't completely full. Okay, so that's 8 ounces. And let me see. 12 ounces. 8 plus 4 is 12, so I just need 3. One ounce, so I need two more ounces. Does this work? All right. All right. And it seems like every time we solve a puzzle, a light turns on. Okay, is there anything else in here? I know there's something else in here. We need to pick up the cover, so lift the cover. And in the drain, we find a key, which should open this cabinet. Right? And in the cabinet, we have a switch. Okay, flip the switch. Okay, cool. What do we have to do now? Tug on blue, yellow, purple, orange. Okay, blue, yellow, purple, orange. Well, that was really easy. And unriddle the pillars. 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 These things? Mice would not care for this dusty fare. It's sometimes blue and tasty too. Okay, so number one has to be the moon. And then cheese. You know, blue cheese, right? And that did something. What did that do? Okay, we have a tile. What needs a square tile? This one? Well, this one needs a square tile, too. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go for the other pillar. Has keys that open no locks, like a piano. Has teeth, but cannot chew, like a key. And it can run, but has no legs, like a clock. Oh, wow, this is easy. Okay, this is a triangle tile, so it goes over here. Ooh, this yeah, looks difficult. Like 
on by accident. Maybe there's a short circuit somewhere. Maybe that dreadful little dog is chewing on the wiring. More likely its dreadful owner is chewing on the wiring. Good one. Nice idea. Okay, okay, so has a stem but never grows is obviously the wine glass. Can be broken but won't shatter is the heart. Stones within has to be this thingy, you know, cherries. It's red with passion but doesn't bleed. You know, let's go for that. Rose, cherries, heart, and wine glass. Okay, we have a white tile. You know, I think I'll try this one. All right! Okay! I think we're finished! Mr. Mingles! Aw, oh, we just saved hey, Mr. Mingles. Oh, you naughty, naughty boy! Give Mummy a kiss so she can forget you! Yes! That's so good, Mr. Mingles! When I got out of the tub and I saw that disgusting, green, gooey mess you left behind, I assumed you were incompetent, so I went looking for him, too. I'm a firm believer that if you want something done right, nine times out of ten you must do it yourself. Speaking of the green, gooey mess that came out of the... The, um, shower head, right? That green mess that came awesome. out of the shower head. I hope you didn't throw it away. Me pick something up with my hand and deposit it in a garbage receptacle? As it happened, Helston popped in for a brief eyebrow consultation, and when I showed him the goo, he scraped it up and took it with him to his lab. Helston? Oh, you mean the... Okay, I don't remember who Helston is. I know he's the person in the lab, so... I'm guessing he's the biochemist. You mean Helston the biochemist? Yes, Helston all Helston, right. the person who creates all the beauty products used and sold here at the Redondo. I've been using his Rejuvenator series for years. As you can see, the man is a genius. Can you tell me where his lab is? In the basement. His name's on the door. Bravo for you, by the way. What do you mean? I'm assuming you want to know where his lab is so you can drop by for a consultation on your... everything. But when you do, pack a lunch, dear. You could be a while. Ouch! Wow, that's really mean. See if I ever rescue her pet dog again. And it looks like I am now a rookie investigator. Excellent!